The breakthrough was in 1953, thanks to Cambridge scientists Francis Crick and James Watson in the most celebrated research of the 20th century. Using the X-ray pictures of DNA taken by Rosalind Franklin and Morris Wilkins, they struggled to make the data about the spaces between the atoms fit into a structure that made sense. When they had finished, it did make sense, but in a more profound way than the structure of any molecule before or since. The most important thing about that structure was not that it was a double helix, which is the icon of the 20th century we all are aware of, but the fact that it was a very long linear molecule and that these bases, the AGCT symbols, were distributed linear along, linearly along it. And they spotted and confirmed the notion that people had been fighting against in a way that it was digital because it seemed unreasonable that something sort of soft and squidgy and lifelike like us would somehow be coded for in this hard digital fashion but it is so and that's the breakthrough which now we're exploiting today to actually read out that code although the double helix looks complicated what it does is very simple Crick and Watson had opened up a world not of chemistry, but of information. Each strand of DNA carries a set of four bases, abbreviated to A, C, T and G. The bases can occur in any order along the length of the molecule, and this is how the information is carried, just as the letters of the alphabet make words. But the crucial thing is the way the bases on opposite strands are joined. Chemistry allows A only with T, C only with G. And they saw also, and this was the famous sentence, it has not escaped our attention that this provides a mechanism for replication because they saw that if you pulled the two halves of the double helix apart, then used those same best pairing rules to reconstruct new strands, you would have two new he double helices looking just like the old one. You had replicated DNA, and as Francis Crick said in Eagle Pub, that was the secret of life. Crick and Watson realized that each strand could act as a template for the other. If you split them apart into two single strands and then throw in a mixture of A, C, T and G, the bases can only join up in the right places. A T opposite every A, an A opposite every T, a C opposite every G, a G opposite every C. And you have accomplished one of the great tricks of nature. You've taken one copy of the code and made two identical, perfect copies that can pass on to the next generation. Through chemistry and physics, Crick and Watson had discovered how the instructions for life are passed on.